Hey guys, what's up? Blake here. Alright, so today I'm going to try something different. And I'm just going to try to make a few videos going through um, two-stroke modification, two strokes in general. And uh, so, just so you guys know, on my hot saw still has stuff going on. Um, there's not much I can do lately, being that it's negative whatever degrees outside for the past weeks or two. Um, and video wise, I just got school and work, so makes it kind of, I don't have very much time to make videos for you guys, but I'm trying to keep it going. So this uh, video right here is just going to be, this one is just going to be basics of how a two stroke works. I'm going to try to do this in kind of like the uh, fashion of two stroke stuffings when he does his drawings here. Might be a little hard because my tripod's in my way here, but I'm going to try to get it done. Alright, so I'm going to draw just a basic uh, case read two stroke engine here and then try to explain in a very, very basic level how it goes about doing things. So. Alright guys, so hopefully you can see that pretty good. Also, it's a rough drawing. But basically, we're going to say this right here is your carburetor. Okay? So on a two-stroke engine, you got air coming in through the carburetor like you do on any carbureted engine. Two-stroke, four-stroke, whatever. And basically, the carburetor just mixes air with fuel. And simple concept. Not a simple thing. How's that? And uh, so basically, this is a case read. Maybe I'll do a video on piston ported later on, but for this time, case read. And then there's also a cylinder read, which I might explain some other time, but who cares? Anyway, so these right here are the reeds. This is a, the cage here, and then these are the pedals too. I have the pedals open now. So basically, when you go to pull the motor, or kick it, or whatever, we're getting this, we're getting the uh, crank moving. That's creating the amount of vacuum to be able to pull air in through the carburetor, get mixed with fuel, and then that opens these reeds, which act as a valve, okay? So things can come out, you can't go in, okay? And then basically you got your fresh mix coming down through here. Let me get a red marker or something. Air comes in, gets mixed with fuel, boom, comes through the reed valves like so. This crank is spinning and there's very little distance between the crank and the case wall. So basically, that mix gets swirled around in here and compressed by the crank and such where it then comes up here and normally these transfers which I'll explain in a minute here would be on the side of the piston but just to the side of the cylinder but just to show you here I put just one back here and basically that's all squished and it's moving around and it comes up and it normally it can't go anywhere because it would just come up behind underneath the uh, piston which it does but it also goes somewhere else. It goes to these ports here that will be in the side walls of the uh, cylinder. And these are called transfer ports. And basically, when the piston is all the way up in the cylinder, we call that top dead center, these ports here will be closed off. So they get full of that fresh mix that is all compressed up in there, right? And as the piston comes back down from bottom dead center it first opens this port here which will be the exhaust port okay and then slightly down after that exhaust port opens it opens the transfer ports right here 
right? So that lets all that fresh mix pour in and push out whatever exhaust there is. But we'll explain that here in a second. So now the cylinder is getting filled with fresh mix, okay? And we're still pulling it or kicking it, whatever. And our piston is starting to travel back upwards, right? All right, hey, sorry guys, my uh, camera cut out there. But anyway, as I was saying, piston moves back up. All this mix is getting poured in from the transfer port. Piston moves past the roof of the transfer port, cutting it off so no mix is getting uh, put into the cylinder still. Then it moves past the um, top, the, the roof of the exhaust port here. Okay. And then from that point on, all that mix is up here in the uh, compression dome with the spark plug. And the piston is moving up, moving up, squishing it. Boom, spark happens because of our ignition coil down here, blah, 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 blah. So now all that mix is burning. The piston starts to move back down. It moves past the opening of the exhaust port here. So then exhaust gases start to come out the exhaust port. And then a little bit farther and it moves past the opening of the transfer port here. Now that fresh mix comes in, pushes the last of the exhaust gas out and then starts to fill the cylinder again and repeat, moves back up, boom, blah, 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 blah. Makes sense? It's a pretty easy concept. You know, you don't have any valves or anything compared to like a, a four stroke and basically how this happens is you end up with a power revolution every um, other stroke, so yeah. Whereas four strokes, you know, that's why they're called four strokes because intake, compression, ignition, exhaust, blah, 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 blah. Whereas we can get it done in boom, boom, in a two stroke engine. All right. And then real quick, I'll just show you. This is the exhaust port. These are the transfer ports that fresh mix travels up into the cylinder. That's the compression dome. This is obviously where the spark plug goes, right here, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so yeah, piston moves past these, air and fuel, blah, 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 goes in through there, exhaust goes out through here. Pretty much the only other thing to say is that some Cylinders, most cylinders actually, do not have open transfers. These are open transfers. That means there's no, there's nothing between the piston and the mix and the transfers where normally uh, there would still be cylinder wall right here. And then there'd just be an opening here and an opening here for the transfer ports. But these are open all along their entire length. So yeah. Alrighty guys, well that's it for two stroke modification explanations, I guess. Video one, so now I'm gonna try to record video two real quick.